Hey guys. So today I'm back at the lake, I'm back in Constance for the time being. I want to share some thoughts on this topic of devotion and especially when it comes to devotion on the yogic path and also devotion towards a guru, devotion towards a um, deity or some other um, forms of, let's say, um, well, energy spaces. Um, because many times people who are the first time, for example, exposed to um, a traditional form of yoga space like an ashram in India or a temple, um, especially when they come from the West, they go there and then they think, oh my god, is this like a, a religion, is this a cult, what are they doing there? Uh, why are these people also in this weird state um, where they like, you know, are they just blind following um, some kind of guru? And I think one thing which is really important to understand, I'm trying to uh, talk about this in the previous videos, is that uh, if we come from the West and the way we've been raised and educated and just the whole way we've been grown up, um, we actually used only a very, very small portion of our, well, mind of our um of really the intelligence and in, like you know in this whole human system and we're not even aware of it so in many ways we're a vast asleep because um you know mostly we are using our um not even the whole brain um not even to mention other forms of intelligence in our system um but even in our brain, which is using small portions of it, like most of the time. For example, the neocortex, which is really about, you know, uh, the language center and uh, mostly, I believe, rational thinking. So, um, these brain functions, they have an important role in our, you know, day-to-day -day life. But they are not at all... Um, everything that's out there and in the yogic tradition and really in any kind of tradition um, spiritual tradition or um, well any kind of old tradition that looks into human potential they've spoken about different forms of intelligence and different forms of also energy centers in the human system and their the, the devotion um, Devotion really is like kind of an emotional state that we can create within us. The Buddhist traditions, they always talk about compassion, um, gratitude. These are, you know, different forms of emotional states that we can really put ourselves into. And what's really interesting is that when we do this, um, we can really access, it's like a gateway almost. Because suddenly we can access other forms of intelligence and just, um, you know, communication channels with really, um, you know, this whole vastness of the universe around us. And basically, we become much more receptive. And that's very crucial when we're on the yogi path or, you know, on any kind of spiritual path, basically, that we can become receptive. And the analytical mind, in many, many ways, you know, you know this, the analytical mind is useful for problem solving, specific kind of problems, not all problems. But um, it's not at all useful when it comes to experiencing other dimensions of life, um, deeper dimensions within ourselves. In many ways, the analytical mind is just a big obstacle so um, now the problem is 
we've been trained to use our analytical mind and we, we think that like we're so identified with it because um, most of the time um, we are just using this analytical mind so we're so identified with it we think that's our mind uh, when in reality it's just a very very small part of it and so when we see something which is not um, you know, which the analytical mind cannot really grasp, then uh, the analytical mind immediately makes like judgments about it and, you know, tries to label it as nonsense. Which of course is a very, very, like, you know, a big trap because um, if there are spaces in the universe which are outside the realm of the analytical mind, then um, we can't really fall into the trap of believing the judgment of the analytical mind, which cannot really, which doesn't have the capacity to um, have a solid judgment about something which is outside of its scope, you know. So we need to first understand that there are different forms of energy, uh, um, intelligence, and just different forms of really, you know. Um, access channels we can access these forms of intelligence and um, you know just the universe and when we understand this and when we understand there is uh, something like um, hard intelligence and just completely different dimensions of knowing and experiencing and perceiving life then we can understand that we need to be able to switch into these different modes and be able to access these different channels and how we can get outside the analytical mind um, one way to do that is through devotion and for example compassion which the Buddhists uh, practice a lot and you know gratitude and these are really like emotions that come very very natural once we're able to tap into them um, I mean, that's nothing really artificial, it's just that we haven't been used to, to stay there a lot. So it seems like initially when we go into that state, it seems like a bit odd and almost like unknown terrain. And there's like the alarm bell that comes up from the analytical mind, what are you doing there, man? Um, don't be stupid, you know, don't just be like emotional, um, it's pointless, it's useless. But the truth is, in those emotional states, whether it's devotion, whatever you want to call it, you can access other forms, um, other, you know, states. And um, there's a whole stream of yoga, which is called Bhakti Yoga, which is just about, you know, bringing your emotions in such high states that it's a form of uh, where you can reach realize your self-realization on its own and so there are different ways to do that um, and because we usually have a hard time to be devoted just you know by itself um, oftentimes it's easier when we have for example a guru um, that we know we have experienced in a very intimate way and that has maybe helped us to reach certain states then to be devoted and um, to get into that state towards that one person or being or to other energy forms um, but really it's not about that it's like you know just being devoted to anything or being devoid of anything um, you can be so compassionate about everything single piece of life you know uh Sadhguru, my guru he always says you know i don't really want you to be just like that towards me i want you to be be like that towards anything to like an ant outside to the tree to the moon you know and i think that's really um when it becomes really powerful and that's something i wanted to share with you here let me know what your thoughts are on this, what's your experience with devotion, with gratitude, with compassion. Leave a thumbs up if you li like this and um, I hope I see you guys again in the next video. Bye guys!